What you guys got another video here for you on how to get your hands on official Windows 11 25 H2. Now, if you're even on Windows 11 23 H2 and you've had your version of Windows, uh, you know, paused because you don't want 24 H2, then this video is also for you because you'll be able to go straight to from 23 H2 to 25 H2 by using the method I'm going to show you today. So first off, when you go to the Windows Update section right here, if you're going to be using this method on a legitimate PC that is uh, eligible for Windows 11, you will need to go through the download and install process and all the way through from 23H2 to 24H2, and then you will eventually be offered the 25H2 sometime in October when Microsoft release it to you. But if you want to get it right now, I will show you how after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro or Office Keys, then check out the links in the video description. All you need to do is create an account on their website, and then you can use the links in the video description to go to the products that you want to purchase. Say you want Windows 11 Pro, you click on the buy now. This will add this to your cart. You can then use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order, and this will give you a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Just apply that. And then all you need to do is submit your order. They will then send you your key to your account on CD Key Sales. And you can use that key to either upgrade from Windows Home Editions to Pro, or you can use it to activate your version of Windows, just like you see on the screen right now. Very simple and easy to do. Okay, so let's go to the Windows 11 download page here. You can see the official current version is 24H2. Microsoft haven't updated this yet, but they will do in October. That will be added to this page and you'll be able to download it directly from here. You can see there's also an article that Microsoft have released as well about 25H2 and now you can get it and how it's going to appear in your Windows updates. Now, if you are on 23H2, you might not see the 25H2 appear here until you install the 24H2 version of Windows. You can see the Windows Insider program, which is what I showed you the other day on how to get your hands on a Windows 11 25 H2 ISO. But now Microsoft have put it onto their servers. Uh, a website, which I'll show you right now, allows you to be able to download them directly from Microsoft. You can see Windows Central here have really nicely put all of the links on their website. There's 38 languages available on X64 or ARM64, as you can see right here. So we need to do, these are the official download links for Windows 11 25H2 directly from Microsoft servers. You should only be downloading them from Microsoft and not from some third party site. These are direct links to the actual ISO files which are stored on Microsoft servers. You can then choose which language suits you. Uh, if your system is running English United States, make sure you download that version and do an in-place upgrade if you want to install uh, 25H2 right now. If you don't and you want to wait, it will show up in your Windows Update section when Microsoft release it to you, and that could be sometime in October. Also, if you're on 23H2 like I'm on here, you can download the ISO and do an in-place upgrade and jump straight to 25H2 if you want to do that. If you don't, then you'll have to wait and basically use the Windows Update and update all the way up to 25H2. It's important that you check uh, the language and region area on the PC to make sure it's set up correctly, uh, say United States here. So I need to make sure I download the United States ISO. Otherwise, what's going to happen, you're not going to be able to keep your programs. You'll be able to keep your data, but your programs will then be removed. If you want to keep programs and data, then make sure you select the right region and language. Once you've got the ISO downloaded, you can mount it right here. This is for people that want to jump from 23H2 to 25H2 or who want to get 25H2 right now and they don't want to wait for this release. Uh, and you can use this method so you don't have to install 24H2. So I'm going to go ahead and let that uh, mount and then we can click install. It's going to check the system to make sure everything is OK. Don't worry, I'm going to speed this whole process up so you don't have to watch every single second of the installation because that will be boring. So basically, once we've accepted their terms conditions, it's going to do a few more checks and updates. And then what it's going to do is move on to the next section, which is basically starting to make sure you've got enough space on the drive for your in-place upgrade. 
and make sure you're ready to install it. You can see right here, install Windows 11 Pro, keep your personal files and your apps. That's important. If you don't see that there, then you're doing something wrong and you need to make sure you download the right ISO file. Otherwise, you'll lose your apps. I'm going to be able to keep everything here. So it's important you should always keep an update of all your data anyway before you continue. Once you're happy, click on install and it's going to go ahead and install Windows 11 25H2 right on your system. Now, these are the finalized versions of Windows 11 25H2, so they're safe to install. And all you need to do is pretty much get them installed and you'll be back at the desktop like we are right here. Again, it will take you a bit longer than that because I speeded the process up and we can go straight to our start button here and we can type WinVer and click on the Windows version we're using. And you can see we're now on 25H2 and we've jumped from 23H2 straight to 25H2 like so. And it's advisable to also go into Windows updates here, turn this on and check for updates to make sure you have all the latest updates for this Windows 11 25H2 build. And once that's done, you should be pretty much good to go from there. You haven't had to join any sort of Windows Insider program to do this. So if you want to go ahead and get to this version of Windows, by all means, check out the links in the video description for you. You can see we've got Windows 11 Pro 25H2 and we're pretty much good to go. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Just a quick video showing you how you can get this version of Windows legit from Microsoft, from the links on Windows Central uh, website. These links and these files are legitimate ISO files from Microsoft. They are downloading from their servers. So if you are worried about where these ISO files are coming from, then don't worry. They are coming from Microsoft themselves. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.